In this video, I will be going over how to use the cryptocurrency exchange Bybit. Uh, Bybit is a relatively new exchange where you can margin trade Bitcoin, Ether, EOS, and Ripple with up to 100x leverage. So you can long or short any of those cryptos with position sizes of up to 100 times whatever you deposit onto the site. If you've used BitMEX before, then I would say the interface of Bybit is pretty intuitive. Um, I would actually say that Bybit's interface is better and easier to understand. But anyway, first in this video, I will talk about placing orders, including how to set stop losses and targets. Then I'll briefly go over the other main features of Bybit. And then at the end of the video, I'll discuss some advantages Bybit has over BitMEX. Um, I've only been using this exchange for a short period of time, but so far I do like it a lot. So first things first, let's talk about how to actually place an order. Up here, you can choose what crypto you want to trade. In this video, I'll just be sticking with Bitcoin. So over here in the upper right hand corner is where we can place orders. And there's three types, limit, market, and conditional. A limit order means you get to choose up to what price you're willing to buy or sell Bitcoin at. So currently the price of Bitcoin on Bybit is 75.94. So let's say I wanted to buy or long Bitcoin, but I'm only willing to buy up to a price of 76.20, let's say. And here is where you enter how many contracts you want to buy or sell or long or short. Um, one contract is equal to one US dollar worth of Bitcoin. So let's say I want to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin and I'm willing to pay up to $76.20 per Bitcoin. So now this limit order is set up. We click buy long. This confirmation screen comes up and then we would click confirm. Now there is a fee for placing an order that way and the fee is 0.075% of your contract size. However, if you actually wanna get paid for placing an order, then you would just make sure that your order price is below the current Bybit price in the case of a long or above it in the case of you going short. And then your order will get placed to the order book and you will get paid a fee of 0.025% of again, whatever your contract size is. So that's kind of how the limit order works. And then your orders will come up in the positions tab, which I will discuss a little bit later on. Um, as you can see here, I'm actually currently short 9,000 contracts worth of Bitcoin, but I'll talk about that a little later. Over here is the market order tab. This is the simplest way to place an order. And you basically type in how many contracts you want to long or short, and then you click long or you click short, and it will execute right away according to the order book. So currently the price is um, 76.17. So if you wanted to go short uh, any amount less than 509,000, then it would execute at this price and it would kind of just go down the order book past that. Similarly, if you want to mark it long, you could glance at the order book and see that, you know, up to the price of 76.22, there's currently uh, $2.4 million worth of Bitcoin that wants to be sold uh, that price or under. So you could again, enter how much you want to buy and it would get executed against the order book right away. Now I'm gonna to go to the conditional tab this is a pretty cool tab because you can set any kind of order you want and it will only get triggered once the price hits whatever trigger price you choose. So again, we have limit or market conditional orders. There's three main reasons I would use a conditional order. One is for a stop loss, one is for a profit target, and a third is basically for a breakout or a breakdown trade meaning let's say if the price were to go above $8,000, I would wanna buy it. We could set a conditional order for that and we would buy Bitcoin automatically once the price surpassed $8,000 or again, whatever trigger price we choose. So first let's talk about a stop loss. Again, I'm already short 9,000 contracts worth of Bitcoin and my entry price was 87.51, 99. Uh, let's call it 87.52. So let's say I wanna set a stop loss on this trade so that if the price goes back above $8,000, I'll cut out of my trade in profit. 
So we're going to set a trigger price of $8,001 um, because remember, I want to cut out whenever it goes above $8,000. And then let's say I don't want to buy any higher than $8,050 because remember, to exit a short, we basically have to buy. And so to close my position, I don't want to pay any higher than $8,050 per Bitcoin, but I want it to get triggered when the price hits $8,001. And for quantity, I'm just gonna enter how many contracts I have, which is 9,000. Also to make sure that I don't buy Bitcoin if I happen to exit this position sooner for whatever reason, I'm gonna make sure that this close on trigger is checked. So now we're just gonna click buy long, since again, I'm currently short, so we have to buy to close my short position. This confirmation will pop up and I'll just click confirm. And now you can see where our positions are under the conditional tab, we have our stop loss and all the information. Now let's set another conditional order for a profit target for this same trade. So what I'm gonna do here is let's say for instance, when the price reaches $7,000, then I want to close my trade in profit. So again, for the trigger price, we want this trade to execute when the price hits $7,000. And again, just to show you how a market conditional order works, let's just say this is a market order. So when the price hits $7,000, I'm just gonna close my position immediately, no matter what. And that's what market orders are good for. So we'll keep that at seven, keep this at 9,000, keep this at close on trigger. And again, press buy long. And now you see my short trade of 9,000 contracts is fully set up because when the price hits $8,001, I'll cut out. And when the price hits $7,000, I will also cut out. So that's how conditional orders work for setting targets and stop losses. I'm just gonna cancel these for now. And the final way you can use them is again for breakout trades. And in this case, we do not want close on trigger checked because close on trigger tells us to only close a position if we already have one open. But now let's say if the price goes above $8,500, I want to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. Then I would just click buy long, once again confirm. And here again, we can see in the conditional tab, our conditional order is all set up to go. So that's all you need to know to place orders on Bybit. Now I'm just gonna go briefly through the interface and talk about all of the features that we have here. First, you will see the chart. And I really like this chart because it's a lot smoother than the chart on BitMEX. Um, actually on BitMEX, I have my chart disabled just because it seems to slow it down too much. Um, but here you can do anything that you can do on TradingView, but for free in this little chart here. So we can choose our timeframes, um, one hour, one day. We can click this right arrow and we get all of the indicators that I like to use. We can draw fib retracements. Um, we can fully customize the colors and everything like that. So it's just nice to have this chart within the interface that you're actually trading on. There's also a market depth graph, which I don't find personally useful in my trading, but you can look at it if you want to. Um, here we have the order book, which I already alluded to. You can see how much sell interest and buy interest there is at any price. Here we have what trades have executed recently. Down here we have our currently open positions with any active or conditional orders waiting to be filled. And then if we scroll down, we have our asset overview. This shows all of your wallets. So to trade any of these cryptos, you actually do have to deposit whatever crypto you're trading. So if I wanted to trade Ether, then I would have to deposit Ether to the exchange. But basically, I'll just go over each column quickly. The first column shows our equity. And what's nice about this is it does automatically convert um, Bitcoin to USD. So you can see the equivalent of US dollars that you have in your account. But basically, equity means that if you were to close all of your open positions now, that's how much you would have in your account. Your balance is how much you had in your account before opening any trades. Um, your used margin is the amount that you have currently tied up in trades. Your available margin is what is left that you have to trade with, accounting for your current trades. 
Um, your total realized P&L, I like this because it shows how much profit you have made or lost since you've opened your account. So basically, since I opened this account last week, I have profited 0 0.269 Bitcoin, which is currently equal to about $2,000. And then your unrealized P&L means if I were to close all of my open positions, then that's how much would be added to my realized P&L. So if I were to close this position now, then that position would profit me uh, about 0 0.145 Bitcoin, which is equal to approximately $1,100. Um, and then that would be added to my realized PNL. So those are the most important features. Um, to trade any other crypto, you basically just select from up here and it kind of functions as a new exchange. It just takes you to where you choose Ether if you choose to trade Ether, for instance. And again, the nice thing about Bybit is that contracts are always in US dollars, so you don't have to do any weird conversions. And with all of that said, you should have a good idea about how to use the exchange. If you use my affiliate link in the description, I would appreciate it and you can get a $10 bonus for signing up. And finally, as promised, I will just talk about some advantages that I've noticed that Bybit has over BitMEX, which is, I would say, its main competitor. First of all, it shows the US dollar equivalent in all of your balances, which I just find nice. Secondly, the conditional order tab keeps things simple and I would say more intuitive for placing stop loss and take profit orders. Um, BitMEX, you have like a ton of different options and it just becomes a little bit of a headache. So I really like how clean the conditional order tab is here on Bybit. Um, Thirdly, withdrawals are processed three times a day on Bybit as opposed to only one time a day on BitMEX. So you still get the security, but it's just more convenient. Next, Bybit does offer EOS and Ripple perpetual contracts, which BitMEX does not. BitMEX only offers more traditional futures on those cryptos. Um, so far, Bybit seems to be faster and smoother. I've never seen like a system overload message so that may have to do with it not getting quite as much traffic, but you can see that there is a pretty decent amount of liquidity on this exchange. So it does just seem to be faster so far. It does have 24 seven live chat support and the trading view integration, like I mentioned before, and the fee structure is exactly identical. So you don't have to worry about, you know, paying anymore for using this exchange. In fact, if you do trade uh, EOS and Ripple, the fees on Bybit are actually cheaper. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out the links in the description. If you want to learn trading strategy, check out my complete video course at sellthespike.com. And good luck out there. See ya.